Yeah, people have made these comments over and over over the years yeah. and a lot of times people i think the first reaction you get from people when you talk about how excited you are about what star citizen is doing to push the envelope the first response you get every time is other games do that this feature is not new this has existed in other places and those people continue to miss over and over again that it's not the single feature it's the overall experience that they're bringing that people are excited for i always and the features will come yeah the features will come they and and they're proving that they are coming i mean they've been slow but we're starting to see finally in what i've been loving to call i'm hoping to coin the term phase four of star citizen development <laughs> we're seeing a lot more of these sort of forward-facing kind of actual player-oriented features coming online so I yeah. like that. I don't think it should be called phases. It should be called eras. Like, eras. <laughs> what was what was the second era of Star Citizen or the fec second phase of Star Citizen? That was that was the period when um, that was after the initial crowdfunding period, but before mm. 3.0. So mm, it was kind so of like when everything blossomed and grew really, really quickly. So phase three would have been 3.0. Yeah, 3.0 up until about three, three thirteen, three twelve like when when everything started to shift more towards these sort of like you know you got you got features like the um iCast system coming on which is bringing persistent inventory planetary um the planetary tech has reached the first version so we're starting to see more innovation there um things like quantum coming online so remeshing is being done those kind of like the big the big ticket things are what's kind of defining this sort of era for me but i agree i think crusader is the beginning of a new era yeah yeah it's definitely starting to show and again like i was saying i just i feel people kind of are missing the idea that all of this stuff being brought together is what makes star citizen special not necessarily that they're doing this actually this is something that i've been bringing up a lot recently the the physical inventory thing i don't know if you've seen it but there's starting to be some pushback right mm. about the idea that there shouldn't be some sort of persistent inventory where you can lose your stuff people are saying mm. it's going to be too annoying it's going to be complicated <laughs> and and you're like, that's not, this is a feature that's been in other games before. It's not anything new. It's in combination with the other stuff that builds what Star Citizen is supposed to be. And that's what people have signed up for. That's what people fund it to $300 million. I mean, if yeah. we wanted one of the other casual things that people were playing, it never would have raised this much money. That's right. That's right.